Earth's magnetic north pole is moving faster than ever, leaving scientists baffled. The new report also confirms that Earth's magnetic field is still weakening, which could collapse the field entirely and flip polarity if it continues. And scientists do not know why, why the Earth's magnetic field is weakening. Elias Murat, Mind Unleashed, reports, Earth's magnetic pole moving at an unprecedented speed and scientists are unaware, unsure of why this is the case. This makes these recent changes so interesting that the sheer speed at which they are occurring, some fear that the rapid movement of the magnetic north pole could cause problems from global, for global positioning systems, GPS, military operations, airliners, and other navigation systems that rely on pinpointing where precisely the pole is located. Migratory animals, such as birds, butterflies, whales, also use magnetic field for directions. The latest report from NOAA, the World Magnetic Model for 220, shows the pole rapidly speeding in the direction of Siberia, away from Canada. The trajectory of the pole will likely change. NGA tweets, NGA in partnership with NOAA and the Brit Geological Survey, Britain that is, has released a World Magnetic Model 2020 update, providing more precise navigational data for all military and civilian planes, ships, submarines, and GPS units. This is not the first time that this has happened. Polar wandering has been constant since the North Pole was first discovered, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. NOAA's National Centers for Environmental Information says that since its first formal discovery in 1831, the North Magnetic Pole has traveled around 1,400 miles. This wandering has been generally quite slow, although scientists are allowing them to keep track of its position fairly easily. As recently as the year 2000, the Magnetic North Pole was clocked at moving at 6.2 miles every year towards northern Russia, but data for the next two decades show that the average rate suddenly increased to about 34 miles per year in the same direction, while the latest readings in 2019 show it slightly decreased to about 31 miles a year. The World Magnetic Model predicts the average speed will slow down to about 25 miles per year from the year 220 to 225. The WMM220 forecasts that the northern magnetic pole, pole will continue drifting towards Russia, although at a slowly decreased speed, down to about 40 kilometers per year compared to the average speed of 55 kilometers over the past 20 years. For the first time in recorded history, the pole has even passed by the Greenwich Meridian, the imaginary line used to indicate zero latitude, longitude, sorry, and determine time zones. Geomagnetic specialist Kyron Began from the British Geological Survey BGS stated that the movement since the 1990s is much faster than at any time for at least four centuries. And we really don't know much about the changes in the core that's driving this. Massimo tweets, the team of researchers that maintained the World Magnetic Model has updated it and released it a year ahead of schedule. The newly updated model shows the magnetic north pole moving away from Canada towards Siberia. And the new model also confirms that Earth's magnetic field is weakening. And if this continues, scientists say the field could collapse entirely and flip polarity, changing magnetic north to south and vice versa, and the consequences could be dire for the planet. But before we begin to panic, we should remember that the Earth's magnetic poles have already flipped up to 100 times in the past 20 million years, and the last reversal occurred about 773,000 years ago. Earlier this year, the rapid movement of the North Pole garnered headlines where scientists revealed that the North was moving so fast, they had to update their model of the planet's magnetic field much earlier than expected. The report said the drift is a result of processes deep in the center of the planet where the liquid outer core comprised of iron and nickel spins and flows like water serving as a conductor for Earth's magnetic field. The recent change in the flow of the fluid is believed to be similar to the formation of a jet stream in the atmosphere 
leading to changes in the planet's magnetic field. And these changes are all part of and parcel of the natural behavior of the Earth and have not been caused by human activity. Rock samples reveal that the Earth's magnetic field has been in perpetual motion for millions of years. University of Wisconsin-Madison geologist and NOAA study author Brad Singer said that while the shifts in the pole could, in the long term, lead to impacts on satellites, communication, navigation, researchers will likely have generations to deal with any major instability in the magnetic field. Dr. Nichols Tuveni of the European Center for Research and Teaching of Environmental Geosciences in France said the decrease in geomagnetic field is much more important and dramatic than the pole reversal. It's very important to understand if the present field will decay into zero in the next century because we will have to prepare. This is according to uh, the Mind Unleashed, Elias Murat, Creative Commons. Well, what can you do if you have a zero magnetic field? What can you do to prepare for this? Does anybody know? If you do, please comment and en enlighten us because this, this is bad news if it goes to zero. It's been decreasing from other articles that we read, 5% uh, for um, every 100 years lately. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.